Hi ladies. I'm trying to get these wings in because they are very large. Now, that's one of those 1950s old style cupboards and they're hanging on that. So that's how long they are. And I really enjoyed making them. I did. I put so much work into them and the beautiful, um, the beautiful bling at the sides is from Pearl and Button. She gifted me that from a wedding dress, clearly. So um, that's where I got that from. And as we know, she's very, very generous. Now, so thank you, Pearl and Button, for that beautiful wedding applique. It really has made these wings pop, it really has. So what I've done is I've laid the wings down now and I'm holding my iPad. So not a great idea for filming, but um, I don't really know the ins and outs of it. Maybe somebody can help me with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, oops, I'm just going to show you how soft all of this is. It's really super soft. The wings bend and they're exactly the same on the back. All of this lovely material and the feathering is all the same on the back. I'll have to explain about this material, and you please forgive me for the wobbling of the camera, but I'm, I am doing my best. Um, they are really pretty, and I'm really happy with how they've turned out, even though they are ginormous. So I'm going to explain a little bit about the fabric that I've used. Okay, ladies, I've just sat down and I've just put my raggedy old cosy jumper on because I've got the back door open. You can probably hear the birds chirping. It's, um, I just wanted to get a bit more light in here. So, um, okay, the fabric that I used for these these wings um, is this, and you might say, "Oh gosh, you know, you expected a tutorial using uh, cheesecloth." Now, I am going to do uh, an angel wings tutorial using cheesecloth, or perhaps using something along the lines of this. Um, because it's not really fair just to use that fabric and just, well, it, you know, of course it's fair because that's what I wanted to use at the time. And to be perfectly honest, I've been making a lot of books for orders and things. Gosh, it's windy. Sorry about that. Can you hear, can you hear it outside? I'm sorry. Um, that's the fabric that I've used. And what it is, it's like just like a, a frilly hang down fabric. If I bought it off eBay about three years ago when I was making angel wings before. Um, but I do actually like them made with cheesecloth. So I will be doing a tutorial, perhaps in three parts, on how to make these with, um, with cheesecloth, rather than the hang down fabric. Now, there is, you could dive in there, there is that much lace. We all know how to make these little hang down, hang down things like this. We all know how to do that. Um, there's lots of seam binding there that's been shabby sheet that I did and pearls of different sizes and of course that amazing um, applique that was gifted from Pearl and Button and then just a great big bling in the middle here which I've put there and they're soft, pliable and bendable. They're not sewed, they're completely glued and how I, the base inside, the interior, I actually used some iron on interfacing on calico so that I'll be doing the same again in the tutorial that I make with the angel wings when I make the, the the big tutorial on from scratch so I'll be doing that and then you can have to put up with me for <laughs> a couple of videos on, on on scrap from scratch if anybody you know would like to watch them I'm certainly going to make it make them anyway so um, the lace is that thick that you can hardly see my fingers through there, but it's still incredibly soft. See that? I hope you can get this in. I just had to sit at my desk because I just thought I'm not getting anywhere stood up because I don't do standing very well due to my health. But anyway, that's them. I think they're really, really pretty and I'm extremely pleased with the way they've turned out. I will be doing um, from scratch of, um, a tutorial on how I do them with cheesecloth. 
So these big things here um, were, like I said, made with this and imagination and a lot of patience and love because we all love to we all love to craft, don't we? So it's the only thing I'm patient with is my craft. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> Um, I will be putting more up here at the top on the shoulders of these wings. I will be using more feather at the top. So they will be even bigger at the top as they drape down. And they do drape really beautifully. Um, I've put the larger, don't with you getting this in, I've put the larger, um, there's sort of a more of a white than a cream. I've put more feathers there. Oh, the back, okay. The back of them. Like I said, it's just the same as the front. That's to hang them with, pure cotton lace that you hang them with. And I think they're very pretty. So I'll do a tutorial for you. The next video that I do, unfortunately, is not the tutorial, it's gonna be the book, because I've just been mad doing these books because I've had so many orders, but I'll show you the the book that I've done next and then I'm going to spend this weekend doing a tutorial on angel wings okay thanks for your patience thank you for watching and, and please like <laughs> isn't that what they say anyway please like and and share so that's them and I hope you you like them okay bye for now <laughs>